The tram is one of the most popular attractions at Snowbird Resort. It takes skiers to the upper runs during the winter and bikers to their scenic trails in the summer. But it's about to undergo a $2 million upgrade. And Keith McCord tells us when the project begins. Keith, not a moment too soon. In late April, Snowbird's tram is going to shut down for a couple of months. The cables that the cars ride on need to be replaced. They were first put in back in 1971. We been, usually have a rope inspection done every year, and we're being told by our inspector for the last five years to start thinking about changing the cables out. And so next month, the steel cables that the tram cars are guided by will be removed and replaced. There are four cables, each is about two and a half inches in diameter, is about a mile and a half long, and each weighs 50 tons. Every cable out there in the ski lift world has broken wires, and ours also has them. Uh, they're just getting excessive, and it wasn't unsafe. It was just time to change. Snowbird's tram is one of 18 in North America. It's not the longest or the biggest in terms of skier capacity, but when you think of Snowbird, the tram certainly is top of mind. I think the tram is an icon not only for Snowbird, but for Utah. Uh, if you ever watch the tourism commercials on TV, you always see the tram going by. But on April 18th, the tram will stop running, and the complicated job of removing the old cables and installing new ones will begin in earnest. The new cables on spools will be pulled up the mountain by the tram itself. As the new cables go into place, the old cable will be spooled and hauled away. When the work begins, about a third of the ski runs will be closed off due to safety reasons. Once we start pulling cable and actually attaching and pulling off the old and pulling on the new, we're going to shut this whole Peruvian side of the mountain down, including the skier's bridge. It'll take about two months to complete the project. The hope is to have the tram up and running around Father's Day weekend in time to resume those summer scenic rides. A crew of 12 will be working 10 to 12 hour days, seven days a week to get the job done. Oh, it's massive and it's something we've been dreading to do for a long time now. At Snowbird, Keith McCord, KSL 5 News. Wow.